Hi guys, this is Brian with Nagios Enterprises and we're going over our initial configuration of Nagios Fusion 4. So in our last video, we configured the mail settings and this time we're going to configure our global settings. So if you go up to your admin menu item, click on it, and then under system configuration, you'll see system settings, click on those. And here we have our program settings, time zone settings, logging settings, along with a data and polling tab that contains information about the global authentication interval, the global polling interval, and these are related both to the few servers that you have, how often they test the authentication mechanism, and then how often they pull the data. Again, these are global settings and they can be over, overridden on the server level. We also have some polling configuration that we'll get into in a later video. This is slightly more advanced than your initial configuration, along with the database retention settings. So for now, we're going to go back to the general tab, and we can see that we have an internal URL, a public URL, along with some administrator information, the default language for your interface, and then the logging settings. So by default, out of the box, the log level is disabled, but it does give you the log file location and the debug file location. The difference between these two files is that the debug file is going to only contain debug and trace information if you enable that in the log level. And these other levels, info, warn, and error, are all going to be logged to the standard log file location. And you can enable writing to these logs with these checkboxes here. And you can also change the time zone of the server, which you were already given an option to during the install process here. So once you've made all your changes, click on Update Settings. And if we head back over to the home page, we can see that that initial setup task, Change Program Settings, has changed from red to blue, which means that we're good to go. So as always, if you have any problems, don't hesitate to contact the support forum at support.nagios.com forum or check out the related content on the YouTube channel.